Okay, so we tapped our trees Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday. I think. And then it got really, really cold, like five degrees, which for any of you who know anything about maple syrup tapping, you know that that's a horrible time to have your trees tapped because nothing flows. So anywho, got really cold and then um, it's starting to warm up. We're just having really sporadic temperatures. So we're just gonna go ahead and check the taps, check the um, buckets and see how full things are. Probably not a lot in them, honestly, but we'll see. You say take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Hello. You coming? Can't help. Can't help it. Hey. <laughs> she loves being pet and held so much. We are gonna go collect some maple syrup or sap from the trees. I got my little sagey in a sling here. Basil's over there rolling in the driveway. Hey, Basil. What you doing? Me? Like I'm not hold like I'm not holding her top body. It's just supported by my scarf. <laughs> just holding her little paws. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> so which ones are we going for first? Well, I was gonna go to the back one, so I'm gonna hear it. It's gotta be flowing. Is it working? Yeah, I thought I heard the trip. Okay. So got one full bucket. One full bucket of ice. Oh, it's full. So we'll get it close to half or close to full. Oh, it's only like. Can you hold this for a second? Whoa. Expecting it to be super, super flat? Nope. It's approximately just gonna be holding the wood, so. So right now, we are building the evaporator. Is that what it's called? Correct. Yeah. See your butt. Don't look at my butt. Huh? Don't look at my butt. How many gallons do these hold? Um, I have to 
just check that. I don't remember. Hanging out. So is all of it in there now? There's some ice left in this one over here. It's there, but, oh, but everything almost else is everything there. else is in. And the fire's burning strong. Yep. Okay, well, I guess it's time to hang out. Yeah. So I feel like hot maple syrup is one of the most decadent things in the world. Mm. It's like having a sweet soup. It's very good. I'm gonna get stuff ready. Life is a winding road. Sorry, I look so tired right now. I wanted to show you guys this, so I did not finished my appearance. Um, so when we boil down the sap, we start it off outside until it's like 95% of the way done and then we bring it in inside to finish it to make sure we can watch it closely and make sure that it doesn't burn. So what you're gonna see now is it basically ready to go. You can tell by the smell and you can tell by the taste. We could use a hydrometer to get the perfect sugar content or a like very specialized temperature. But for us, this has worked so fine. Um, it does end up like a little thinner, but it also stretches further, so. Okay, so here's my process. I have my jars sterilized and cleaned and ready. Strainer with a paper towel over a Pyrex, also sterilized. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna filter the syrup through the paper towel and the strainer. And then I'm gonna pour them into the jars. And then I'm gonna start a pot of boiling water and hot water bath these guys for 10 minutes. It's, it's super easy to hot water bath maple syrup, it's super fast. Because they've been boiling for so long, there's really not much more you need to do. Strain this. The reason you strain maple syrup, it has a lot of sand in it um, that actually looks and kind of tastes like sand. And so, you take that out so it's like a smooth. You don't have to, but if you didn't, it wouldn't be like a smooth, smooth uh, syrup. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. So I pour enough. You see there's some other little like burnt pieces stuff too that we want to filter out. And there is the finished product dripping down the bottom. So this isn't an early season maple syrup, a medium amber color. The warmer it gets, the darker the syrup gets because the sugar content increases. I think that's it. I don't know, I'm not a maple syrup expert, guys. Okay, so now that that is filtering, I'm going to clean this out real quickly, put some boiling water in it, and get it boiling so that I can do my hot water bath once these are in the jars. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. I have to stand here and stand here and do this now because it's so full that the um, strainer is like in the liquid now. So 
Okay, so it's boiling, so let's give it 10 minutes and then we'll take them out and they'll be ready to store. One, well, they'll be ready to store tomorrow once I can take the rinks off. Set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Maple syrup's done, maple syrup's done. It's such a long process, guys. So much waiting, but it's so, so delicious, so worth it. See, we made eight cups, which is, that's about half a gallon. So at this point, we've almost made a full gallon, which makes sense because we've boiled down about like 45 gallons of sap. So we made, we made less than a gallon, but um, pretty close to. So we're hoping to make over two gallons this year. We can do it. We can do it. Alexa. How much time is left? You have three minutes and ten seconds left on your ten minute timer. Three minutes. I thought she was going to say, five seconds! Nope. I'm impatient. Very impatient. Should be almost done. Should be almost done. Alexa, how much time is left? You have 40 seconds left on your ten minute timer. 40 seconds?! Yeah. The jars keep moving themselves together and have to keep moving them apart because you don't want them touching because then they can crack. So these two keep moving together and these two keep moving together. But it's okay. 40 seconds left. That'll be okay. Just waiting. Waiting for that Alexa to go off. Timer's done. Alexa, stop. Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down The sky is falling down Okay guys, we have made our maple syrup and the last step is just to wait for the jars to pop, cool off, and then I'll go ahead and date them um, label what they are, but it's pretty obvious. Although maple syrup and vegetable broth look kind of similar, so. So I'll label them, date them, put them down in the pantry, in the basement, and we will enjoy this sometime, probably next winter. It's kind of crazy to think about. Okay, friends, uh, we're just gonna wait for them to pop and cool off, and then they'll be done. So thanks for joining us for our, you just shrink. I don't want to shrink. You just shrink.